Well, if you start to feel a sore throat, get a little fever, maybe you have a headache, muscle aches, you might wonder if you have the flu, but this year you might also be concerned that it is coronavirus. Today we are hosting a day of answers about the flu with some ideas on protecting yourself and your family during this flu and pandemic season. Christian Schaefer of Good Morning Maryland spoke with a doctor from GBMC about what to expect. This fall is going to bring extraordinary health challenges from the flu, the common cold, and the pandemic is still going on. I'm joined by Dr. Sarah Whiteford, who is a primary care doctor at GBMC. Dr. Whiteford, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So I imagine your recommendation is for people to get the flu shot every year. Is it even more important this year? Absolutely. Every year, everyone who um, is over the age of six months should get the flu vaccine. This year is even more important with the coronavirus pandemic going on. You know, what's frustrating for some people is that even if they get the flu shot, they know they can still get the flu. Uh, what do you tell people about that subject? Yeah, that is absolutely true. But the flu vaccine gives us the best protection year after year from influenza it protects us probably about 60% of the time. So some people may still get influenza virus, even though they've had the flu vaccine, but their chances of getting it really are lower if they have the flu vaccine. Now, some of the initial symptoms that we've been hearing about on the news the past few months with regard to COVID-19 sound a little bit like some of the initial symptoms with the seasonal flu. If somebody starts to feel those symptoms here going through the winter, should they be tested? Uh, for both? That's a great question. And I know that many um, hospitals are trying to figure out how best to test people nowadays. And you know, we're keep trying to keep sick people out of many of the primary care doctor's offices. But GBMC, for instance, is going to have a testing center, ambulatory testing center on campus where patients who have flu like symptoms, which could be COVID 19, could be influenza, could be any other number of viruses, will be able to be tested. So um, these are all things that healthcare providers are working on right now. Do you have any hope that um, this year with everybody dealing with the pandemic so long now, a lot of more people are wearing masks than they used to in previous years. People are washing their hands, maybe using more hand sanitizer mm -hmm. than they usually did. Um, do you have some hope that maybe this flu season might be mitigated by that in some way? I really think that that could be the case. I think that this may be a really interesting year and hopefully fewer cases of influenza for that reason. Still not a reason to not get the vaccine, but I'm hoping that with all the hand washing people are doing now, mask wearing, hand sanitizer, that all viruses will be cut down in general, less colds, less upper respiratory, less GI, um, GI bugs, less influenza. Hopefully that would be nice. Dr. Sarah Whiteford, thank you so much for participating in our Day of Answers, the flu and you. Thanks so much. Thank you.